you're back. Is that on or off? Oof, questions you shouldn't be asking while cooking. Wham bam, thank you, Jam. It, it sounds like an alien overlord. <laughs> That's my jam. <laughs> Summertime. What does summertime mean? Summertime, summertime, summertime. Summertime is the time where you can choose what you want to do with your day. And frankly, being totally autonomous, well, that's my jam. Which is why today we're going to be making a brown sugar raspberry jam. Cheers. That's not good. This is my tequila cup. I found the root of the problem. The first step is actually a question. It asks whether or not you have a candy thermometer. If, like me, you don't because you're a normal person, then it suggests that you place a plate into the freezer for a plate test? I guess we'll figure out what this is all about later. Step number two, what do you do? The next step is to take a non-reactive pot. You know, I'm sorry, but I find you rather passive. And add your raspberries, lemon, water, brown sugar, and apples. So basically all of the ingredients go into there. Let's go! Mm. 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 My favorite part about this recipe for jam is that the instructions are super simple. It just says add two bags of frozen raspberries. That's the kind of measuring I can get behind. Ooh. Razzmatazz, it loves jazz. What does razzmatazz even mean? Now that you've added your raspberries, one and a half tablespoons of fresh lemon juice. I'm gonna guess one lemon. Wow, so juicy. Oh yes, I'm putting my abdomen on my- I think I'm probably getting a little too much out of this lemon squeezing process. So I'm just gonna go ahead and stop. The recipe then calls for one third a cup of apple skins and two thirds a cup of apple chunks. Now in my mind, I don't think we actually need to separate those two things, though to be fair, I'm not the person who's actually created this jam recipe. Anyway, long story short, we're just gonna chop this up and put it in. I'm sure it's gonna be great. Chop it up. So good and efficient, not at all like you're drunk. Safety first, guys. Oh my god, it's perfect. It looks like a potato. One and a half cups brown sugar. <laughs> Cooking sucks. It doesn't suck. I'm just so ready for jam. A cup and a half. Yes. Three fourths of a cup of water and just a dash of wine. Woo! I think that's gonna make it taste great. Ooh! Water. Now add heat. Ooh! Wait for your goo pot to boil. Once it's done boiling, turn the heat down a little bit. Then, well, we'll talk about that when that happens. Ow! As you wait for the jam to boil, think about summer in your youth. You know what, guys, to be totally honest, I thought summer was kind of the loneliest season. It was hot, it was dry, there was nothing to do every day, all day. But I suppose that that had its own merit because it gave me time to think about myself and what I wanted, which was to, frankly, not be bored. So I read books. So that's the message. Read books even though it's summertime. <laughs> summer, summer. What a bummer. <laughs> Check one number two. The plot thickens just like that jam does. I got so excited about that, by the way. Yum, yum, yum. And it still just looks like a hot, sweet soup. Hey guys, so now we're about 30 minutes in in Jamvasion, which is the new name of this video. Now, if you, like any other normal human, don't have a candy thermometer, you can do something called the plate test. The plate test is taking a plate that you put in the freezer, adding a few dollops of jam, and then waiting five minutes. If you tilt the plate this way and it runs, then it's no good. If you tilt the plate, then you're good to go. Let's do it. Dollop. Set your timer and wait five minutes. And now we test it, just as we test ourselves every time we decide to make another cooking video. Let's go. Ready and... Is it jam? Nope. It's not supposed to move at all? <laughs> okay guys, so the jam turned out not as jam should, um, but it's also all over your leg. So there's that. Save some jam so that it wasn't all for nothing. Hot, hot, molten, hot, molten, hot, 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 hot. Okay, great. Mmm. oh my god. Mm, mm. Oh my god, that's delicious. Oh hey guys. So the jam might not yet be ready, and you might be already bored of making jam. But that doesn't mean that this jam won't be good one day. And maybe every day of summer isn't gonna be the most fun moment of your life. That doesn't matter. Just remember this. You should still approach every day as if it was something new and give it all you've got. The message of this kitchen is all about perseverance. Preserves. Perseverance. I'm so sticky, I can't stand it. Subscribe to my channel for new videos every Tuesday and Thursday. Also, I have to wash my hands right now. Bye, have a great day. Summer was kind of a bummer, but let's not be a downer given such a frowner. Instead, let's look ahead 
to the fact that the season begins anew when you let it within you. You're welcome. I'm a poet.